Hello, today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite Puppet Dog charts of all time. That is what's going on in Puppet Dog Zero. This is a very old school uh, K-pop Puppet Dog chart. It's not super old, but it's also definitely on the older side. It's doing its age. And I want to just uh, go over it now since um, today's, well, it's midnight. They're gonna, my roommates are going to be coming uh, today. So I'm not going to have this dorm to myself, so, you know, I decided why not just record some content as a last uh, resort. So, yeah, uh, I'm praying to God that the audio is fine this time. I really lowered it. So, yeah, I just want to talk about um, this chart and how it's, it's very unique and simple, but it provides something very fun with this song. Okay, you start off with quarter notes and then three eighth notes. This in itself is very different, I feel like, as with basically like newer uh, beginner charts, they typically don't put any, really any notes in the beginning or more breaks. This just starts off already kind of having you in the action and I really like the emphasis of the three eighth notes, pretty much symbolizing like Oh, it's getting faster now, so now uh, this is where the action comes in. And as you can see with this part coming up, um, the chorus, you're going to see this reputation, uh, reputating um, uh, twist, uh, twist spin motion where you have your left leg uh, up, down, and then you twist to the right, back to the left, and then you go against, and then back to the left, and then right. And it just keeps repeating this pattern over and over again, and that is a, a very iconic twist formation uh, with this chart. It's not as it's, it's very unique, and you won't find it in any other chart in the game. It's not a spin either. It, it may look like it, but uh, it's it's very uh, it's almost like it's smooth, but also awkward, kind of like zero feeling, you know. But uh. I don't know how to describe it, it just feels, uh, you know, just it's, it's just right. And um, what's it called? Not to mention, as you're ending it, it gets faster with every time you have to twist your body in a uh, eighth note um, like rhythm after you touch the center panel. So I just like that touch a lot as it could just been the same thing, but no, it decides to uh, innovate and as it transitions out of the section it makes it more action based and it's really effective in that. We are in uh, Turtle Man's verse and this is also like I think this is such a good part too. You have these um jumps from the left to the right. Da, 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 wait it. So after the fourth um beat with the wait it so which means why um, you're on the side doing that crossover and it keeps repeating the same red blue yellow blue red blue uh, yeah and then on, on the side do 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 so it does it that does twice right and as it um, gets out of this area you have to diagonal a jump and it continues with uh, it kind of jumps out of it but it still kind of retains this form and you have some side jaw twist jumps in a sense with uh, your left foot kind of going against it. It's it's very a uh, different type of jump twist that uh, it's uh, it's quite hard to describe. I feel like it's not in modern charts as much. But if you play this chart, you'll definitely know what I mean by it. How it's it feels comfortable to play, but it's definitely um, it's definitely different, and I like that for it. It continues the exact same thing but mirrored, and it's super effective. It does it twice, and it ends it with the same thing but mirrored. Although it does break the rules here, actually, because you would expect the same copy and pasted notes um, here. You'd expect the side to be there, but no, since um, the song has a you know MP3 cut, it just uh, has the jump up there. 
which I think the jump here is really solid as again it it adds a different variation to just pretty much ended part conclusion and now it gives you a little break um I think the one complaint I would have over this part place hmm I'm not sure um you know it's older charting style and I think uh, this right here I think felt a little awkward the transition at the time and I, I'm speaking this from a um, uh, no, no step perspective too I think uh, you know with, uh, you can play it it's perfectly you know, fine and fun but um, there's some like minor imperfections I noticed when trying to fully memorize this chart but uh, I think that's probably something very minor but anyways here you're gonna have the um, you're gonna be completely up here all the time and just follow the rhythm and uh, twist every time with the music and this part's so fun this part I don't know how to describe it it does like a two 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 and then it keeps uh, doing you know the faster eighth note rhythm uh, as we've seen in the earlier parts as it concludes with the um, jump twist with the chorus and it shows that level of uh, consistent chart quality how it's retaining that same formula and rhythm choice and that's very very key in why um, what's going on really uh, achieves its mark where simplicity and repetition can be effective very nice jumps here um the diagonal here is a little janky but it could also be said that diagonal is here so you can do the same twist pattern but mirrored and uh, yeah I guess it's a uh, it, it does work it just there's some slight you know I'm uh, it's, it's, it's uh, you know it's less conventional nowadays I love this part so instead of just ending it since the vocal continues um, you know you do the red you keep you keep staying you keep uh, uh, alternating your feet uh, until you go it continues into the bridge it does this twist motion which um, you know if you play this chart it feel, it'll feel completely natural and now you're in the bottom part which also works along I feel like with the whole melody of the music because I don't know music theory very well but uh, it just I'm here to music I don't know how to describe it. it it's just a pump thing where it just works so well man same thing but mirror it works so well da, da, da. and this time it's a uh, horizontal flips um yeah they don't really need to do anything else honestly it's just for it and more jumps and it just continues the um uh, copy and paste from previously which isn't a bad thing at all and honestly um, with this chart, I feel like it actually makes it better in a sense. Because I know for a lot of older, um, I mean, I know for like a lot of newer charts, for the old, easier difficulties, I kind of feel uh, less soul and life into them. But this is this is still considered an S7 back then, and um, there's so much character and love to this chart. That is why personally I wanted to memorize this chart. And it does the same iconic what's going on uh, twist formations and yeah you've pretty much finished playing one of the one of my favorite um, k-pop songs and uh, older charts in the game in my opinion also this ending this that's such old charting right there and I love that the voice echoes in the background. You could have just had the um, just the one long hold note, but I love in this era in the game. You know, the charters felt like they can actually just experiment more. Now, is this playable for S7 standards? No, but can the S7 player do these twists? Probably not. So, this is fine, honestly. And you can always spin these. So, <laughs> it's very um, charming. So that being said, what's going on truly gets my seal of approval. And you can see my comment from almost a year ago how I've always loved uh, this charting game. 
and yeah hopefully I did this um, I hopefully with this uh, in-depth chart I, you know overview I hope it shows my appreciation for what's going on it goes beyond the song and how the chart is really freaking good also I really like the BGA too and overall the vibe of the song is great <laughs>